What's up guys, Mr. Dan here back again with another video, a very unexpected video as I am actually working on editing last minute changes to my review of the book Gone Outlaw by Madison K. Thames, uh, which I will be premiering at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night, Wednesday, the 5th of June uh, at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And uh, the author Madison K. Thames will be in, the, in the, the chat, so you can come talk to her and ask her questions. I'm actually going to review uh, the John Wayne film, The Shooters, first, and then in the second half, half of the video, review the book. Um, so please stop by and join the, join the comments. Yeah, this, this, this is, so this is a very unexpected review, and I don't have a physical copy, and I know looking at a screen, this is more for my benefit, might be hurting your eyes, and I apologize, I've gotten away from these kind of videos but I don't own a physical copy uh, of this film that I'll be reviewing very quickly here, Curse of the Undead. Apparently, according to this article, it did get a Kino release, and I do like my Kino releases, um, so I might have to pick one up. So, whereas these films, uh, films such as Billy the Kid vs. Dracula and uh, Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter came from the 60s, this film... Curse of the Undead came from the late 50s, and the title of the article is One of the very first horror westerns started out as a joke. So, that yeah, the director made a joke with his wife about vampires in the Old West, and they, they basically wrote a script. Edward Dean and his wife, uh, Mildred, I believe. Um, very good article on Collider. I mean, they really praised the movie, as I will, in a moment. And it essentially, it's an 80-minute film, black and white. The black and white is excellent. It's very stark. Uh, great, great. It's This is a well-made film. Let's talk about the cast. Again, I know this might be hurting your eyes, so you can you don't have to even look at the screen. But um, we basically have a family, which includes uh, Kathleen Crawley as this woman named Dolores. She was a uh, beauty contestant from New Jersey who went on to appear in films, for a time at least. And then you have... Uh, She's sort of has a relationship, possibly brewing with Preacher Dan, played by Eric Fleming. The sheriff in town is played by Edward Bins, who's a very recognizable character actor. He was in Patton, many other films. Uh, they have to deal with a town bully named uh, Buffer, who's got a little crew. Uh, they like to kind of muscle people off of their land, and he's kind of a loud mouth. And then in comes this mysterious stranger, Michael uh, Drake Roby, played by Michael Pate. And he is excellent in this. He cuts a really sinister figure in this film. I mean, he's he's not the biggest guy. There he is right there. He's not the biggest guy, but he just he's dressed in almost all black, or at least dark colors, and he just commands attention every time he's on screen. Uh, likewise, the sheriff isn't a big guy either. You know, when the, when the bully, played by uh, Bruce Gordon, uh, messes with him, he even takes it for a while, but only up to a point. And there's some, a couple scenes where he basically has to put this guy Buffer in his place. And a lot of people get put in their place in this movie. I mean, the dialogue in this is very snappy. It's very good. Um, and, well, essentially, plot-wise, you have a small town where a lot of young ladies are falling prey to a mysterious illness. It's just sort of draining the life out of them. And this mysterious stranger goes to this family and says, I can protect your property from the, you know, Buffer and his gang. And he kind of starts a relationship with the young daughter. And the preacher starts to suspect that, hey, this guy isn't who he seems. And uh, he starts to pick up some clues about his origins and about his, his nighttime habits. In the end, there's a confrontation, which is somewhat obvious, uh, but still very good. Uh, so this is kind of a, an interesting take on the vampire western, or in the vampire uh, story. Uh, this perhaps being the first time it was in a western setting, but not the last. And the article even mentions movies like Near Dark. So it follows some of the conventions, but it doesn't follow all of the conventions. And it just kind of lets you figure things out. The preacher has a button on his lapel, which is a cross. And... You know, when there's a great scene when, when he's standing opposite the Drake Roby character where it reflects right into his eye and then he flinches. So yes, he is, he does not want to uh, gaze upon the cross. That is a weakness. And yet he does walk around 
in daytime. So some of the conventions apply and some don't. So you'll have to watch the movie to, to figure out the rest of it. And here's the thing. I, I mean, why is this considered a B movie? That's the, maybe the one thing from the Collider article I don't agree with, that they called it a B movie. I mean, because it's in black and white, because it's 80 minutes long. Uh, the, the director certainly directed some other B movies, like uh, such as The Leech Woman. Um, he also did some TV, a number of westerns on TV, western shows and so forth. But I like, why is it a B movie? I mean, I thought it was just really good. Really, very interesting film. I'm definitely going to be checking out again. Uh, there's some really good lines in this that, that would make great like bumpers if you're into, if you want to make like a, an intro for your channel. There's some good lines about the dead walking. I don't remember them all, but like I said, the dialogue in this is very good. Very, very uh, easy to watch film. I really enjoyed it. And it was on uh, Tubi. Now when you start it, it you'll see, they have the cheesy movies logo. And they say, hey, we're sorry, this is the best we can do as far as the print. It actually looks really good on Tubi, to be quite honest with you. Um, so they got it from the, the cheesy movies DVD, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it is on Tubi, an hour and 19 minutes long. Highly recommend. Have you guys ever heard of this? And what are your thoughts? Are you interested in Curse of the Undead? And uh, I guess this, even though this is half hour, this kind of starts our Western roundup for the week. So come back tomorrow for a review of the book Gone Out Long, and I'll see you then. Thanks.